Hey guys, this video will be a tutorial about drop strategy. First, let's check what the drop is. It's simply when the price goes down, or in other words, when the current price is lower than the price 10 seconds ago. Those are examples of drops. They happen when people sell their cryptocurrency for a bit price. So, let's open Moonbot, let it load and go to strategies. Add new strategy, name it, set it to signal type drops and save. If you are done, then we will go down to the drop settings. But if you guys would like to understand the general settings above, please check my video about Moonshots where I speak about the general settings. So now I will show you each setting on the chart so you understand it better. Let's say that the first setting drop max time is set to 60. It means that all the settings below have to be full filed within 60 seconds for Moonbot to give you buy signal. So on chart, this frame is 60 seconds. All the settings below must be met in those 60 seconds. Ignore drops price MA and drops last price MA for now and go to drops price delta. Drops price delta is how much the price has to drop in under 60 seconds. So if you set drops delta to 1% the price has to drop 1% in under 60 seconds. Remember you set those 60 seconds in drops max time. So let's see it on chart. Price was uh, 1750 and something, and then dropped to 1734. So the criterion was met. That was a 1% drop. Now let's go back to drops price MA and drops last price MA. Those are a little tricky, so listen and watch closely. Those two settings determine if the drop is happening. Simply said, the Moonbot compares prices between drops price MA and drops last price MA. And if the second price is lower by 1%, then Moonbot will give you buy signal. Let's go deeper into how drops price MA and drops last price MA work. Drops price MA and drops last price MA settings are set in seconds. Drops price MA checks the price every 2 seconds. So, if you write 10 into that field, drops price MA will check the price 6 times in those 10 seconds and makes average of it. Now on chart, let's say it starts checking at 12.4, next check will be at 12.4 2 seconds, another at 4 seconds and so on. At 12.4.10 it will be 10 seconds from where it started checking. It checked the price 6 times and now it will make average of those prices. Then it will compare this average price with drops last price MA to see if the average from drops last price MA is at least 1% below. If yes, then you get buy signal. Drops last price MA works the same way as drops price MA. It checks the price every 2 seconds. Now, if you set drops last price MA to 4, then it will check the price 3 times, makes the average of it and compares it to drops price MA. Let's see it on a chart. Let's say it starts checking at 12.4, then at 12.4, 2 and 4. That's 4 seconds that we set in settings. Now. It makes average of those prices and compares it to drops price MA. Again, if this average is at least 1% lower than the average from drops price MA, it will send buy signal. 
And now, let's see how both Drops Price MA and Drops Last Price MA work together on a chart. Drops Price MA is yellow and Drops Last Price is blue. So they both start checking at 12.4.10. When the price starts to fall down, Drops Price MA makes 6 checks in 10 seconds and then average from it. Then drops last price makes 3 checks in last 4 seconds and makes average from it too. If the drops last price MA average is at least 1% below the drops price MA average, the moonbot will give you buy signal. Ok, let's go to the next setting, and that is drops price is low. If you said yes here, it will only give you buy signal when the price is at its lowest point in last hour. Let's see it on chart. If you said yes, then in this case Moonbot would not give you buy signal even if all other criteria were met. The lowest price for the last hour is here. So, Moonbot wouldn't give you buy signal here or there. Only if the price dropped lower than the blue line, like here. And the last setting is drops use last price. If you said yes, then the price for the buy order will be set from the drops last price MA and not from classic average price. So, on chart, if you have buy price 0 and if detection happens here and you have this setting off, it will buy for classic average price which is 0 now, that's here. If you have this setting on and you have buy price 0, then it will buy at drops last price MA, which is here. And that is all about the drop settings. This tutorial was a bit more complicated, but I hope that you understood it. Well, you can tell me in the comments. Next tutorial will be up in a couple of days. See you then.